Hey, it's Janes, and this is the updated video of adding Firebase to our Instagram like Ionic 2 application. So, to get started, you can go to the GitHub, um, yamzi slash Instagram, and clone this repo. Uh, I have done this already, and I am in the repo, and just run npm install to install all the node packages. Like this. And after that, uh, make sure that you have the latest um, Ionic CLI installed. So you can run npm install minus g Ionic dash CLI. And once you do that, you can run Ionic serve and your um, Ionic app should run in the browser. Okay. Ionic serve is running and our app should work like this. And now open the second tab uh, and navigate to the repo like this. Okay, and now let's add some uh, Firebase packages to our project. So open up this Instagram folder and navigate to the package JSON. We will add two packages. One is Firebase, Firebase, and the version will be 3.6.4. And the second one is the Angular Fire 2 package, which wraps the Firebase into the um, Angular 2, the Angular 2 way. So let's install that Angular Fire 2, and the version is 2.0.0 beta 6, like this. Okay, once you do that, um, we need to install uh, one of the dev dependencies. So under the dev dependency, um, install add types request, and the version is 0.0.30. Okay. Now go to the command line, the second tab, and run npm install. This will install the Firebase, Angular Fire, and the request packages okay our packages are installed so now go to the our project and in the root of the so in the source add new file and call it import.json this will be a structure for our firebase database so create new object I'll create photos and this will hold an array of objects and uh, one of uh, the properties is likes zero and the second one is source so every our every photo will have a likes number so number of likes and the uh, base 64 string source and we are just uh, adding one sample with likes of zero and blah is the base 64 string okay save this and now let's set up a firebase database so go to the console.firebase.google.com log in with your google account and you can create a new project i already created one project so i will navigate to it under database uh, go here and here you have import json and just import this file when you import it it should look like something like this okay and now let's go to the let's go to the, our app so uh, navigate to the app module and here we will uh, declare the firebase config so we will declare some uh, variables to connect to our Firebase instance. Like this, create new export const Firebase config. Like this is an object. And we have um, epic key, old domain, database URL, storage bucket, and messaging sender ID. All these variables are available here. So if I go to our project so instagram firebase i can navigate to overview 
and when I click add Firebase to your web app, I have an object with all these properties. So I will just copy this to our app like this. Okay. And now we need to add this Firebase config with the Angular file module under the imports. So under imports, I will add Angular Fire module. And this Angular Fire module is available um, in the Angular Fire 2 library. So I will just import it. Fire 2. And we can import the Angular Fire module like this. And I will pass in the configuration. So dot initialize app and pass it uh, the Firebase config. Firebase config like this. Okay, and now our configuration is good. But we need to change the way we get uh, or display our photos. So we will get these photos from the Firebase. And we will change the adding, the update, and the delete functions. So let's navigate to the home.ts. Here is our home component. Um, we have only one component. And now we are using this photo.ts class um, to hold our photos, but we don't need this anymore, so we can delete it. And now under the home.ts, we can delete this photo because we are not getting photos from um, locally but from Firebase and delete everything under this photos variable. Now we will get our photos from Firebase and they will be a type of Firebase list observable. Like this type of any. Okay. And we can import this Firebase list observable from Angular Fire 2. So import Angular Fire 2 Firebase list observable like this. And now, because we will be using this uh, Angular Fire, we need to inject it into constructor. So create a private Angular Fire is a type of Angular Fire like this and we need to import this too so angular fire okay and now on the get photos um, we will be implementing ng on init so on initialization we will get the photos from the firebase so export class homepage implements ng on init and on init like this and we add on init and we need to implement ng on init like this implement like this and now on the ng on init i will just call this dot photos i will assign to the this dot photos is this dot angular fire dot database dot list and the name of our node is slash photos because we created new structure with the slash photos like this slash photos okay we assign this to the list observable and now when we take a photo we will Similar, just push it, but we will not use the new photo class, but we will create new object. And the source of this object will be this data image JPEG base64. And like this, and the likes property will be assigned to zero. And like this. Okay, so we push new object with source of base64 plus image data and the likes of zero. Similar, we need to change the delete photo. Here we will be 
just passing into the lead photo the photo key. This is a special property in the list observable. So photo key will be a type of string. And we will just call the this.photos.remove method on the observable list for, with photo key. Okay. And now for the liking of a photo, we will similar pass the photo key, which is a string, and likes, uh, the new number of likes, which will be a number. Um, or the old number of likes. So when we click the like photo, we will just call the this.photos.update with the photo key. So we will update this uh, photo with the photo key. And the likes uh, property will be incremented by one, like this. OK? So like this. We have com completed the logic part. Now let's go to the HTML. So home.html. And now uh, take photo should work the same, but with the like photo, we will pass the photo key. So photo.key and the number of likes, number of existing likes, like this. And similar to delete photo, we will pass the photo dot key. Okay, and we need to make this ng4. We need to pipe it to the async because we are using observable. Like this. And now our app should work, but instead of saving um, locally uh, the new photos, when we click the take photo, should save to the Firebase. Let's try this out. OK, I have done two things. I have stopped the Ionic Surf and uploaded our Ionic app to the Ionic View with Ionic Upload. You need to have the Ionic account for that, but it's easier to de debug with this. So I have started uh, my app on the phone in the Ionic View here, and I have uh, the same app running with Ionic Surf locally. So now if I click the heart icon on the phone, it updates the locally version too, and both connects to the, uh, to the Firebase. OK, now I will take one photo, a new photo, and this should get updated and stored to the Firebase, like this. Okay. Locally, the image is here, and on the phone, the same. So if I like locally, it should get updated here too. And the same if I delete a photo locally, it should get deleted. So we have an Instagram like application working with Firebase. 